all right so it's now time that we calculate operating profit and this is going to be a little more complicated in DAX than before so let us first of all understand the data and let us talk about what we are trying to do so let us take a look at our PL and to reach at the operating profit what we got to do is we got to tell power bi that please calculate the sum of all the values but only where the class is trading account or operating account now i cannot say and the reason being that if i will say and there is no such value in this you know in this in this complete sheet where there is trading account and operating account right so it has to be a trading account or operating account if any of the condition meets the the value should be you know included in the sum so let us do that so let me zoom out and let me go to my new measure pane and in this new measure uh, let me zoom in for you if you have to you know increase the size of this measure block and font just press the control key and uh, the you know the cursor on your keyboard the, the the wheel on your keyboard and now we are going to name it as operating profit okay so this is going to be calculate and then use the previously calculated function of sum that is FTP and that was total FTP and now press comma and we have to apply the filter and that is going to be calculate uh, I'm not sorry not calculate that is going to be the filter as please only bring up the value where the class is either trading account or operating account so I will say class and it will, it will bring that in and I will say press I will simply press enter and equals I'm gonna say trading account okay close the parenthesis and now here uh, you have to you know uh, tell excel to use the or function and excel will sorry not excel power bi I, I keep using excel because the things are same in both programs so now here you will have to tell power bi to use the or function and to use the or function you will be using the vertical bar on your keyboard that is just up at your uh, above uh, up at the enter key okay so you will use this vertical bar and then you will give the other condition and that condition is again going to be at class so i'll write class and here it has selected for me so i'll press enter and i'll say this is going to be operating account okay close the parenthesis and now close the bracket as well now if you read this formula we are asking power bi to calculate the total of all the values for this particular period but please make sure that the uh, the trading account uh, the class is either trading account or the class is operating account so this is all perfect and let us press enter but before we do that let me do some formatting here as well and for that i'm gonna say my format should be uh, just give it a second whole number is okay zero is okay and let us place this in the GL and here we have everything defined and just let us press enter and it should define our measure okay so the measure has been defined and we are going back to our dashboard and from here I'm going to copy this operating profit from here so that I can demonstrate you separately and let us go to page one okay so reading profit is here and let me do the control v again to get one more copy of that and from this visual at the bottom i'm going to delete my filter so i'll say go here and delete that filter the values will be distorted but we are going to fix that in a minute so i'm going to delete the amount from this one and i'm going to say please bring in the operating profit measure and here we go okay so we have the same values that we have you know defined earlier you will notice that we have not uh, been receiving the comma separated values never mind just double click on that measure and go to this comma sign now and it should actually fix the value for you and right give it a second and now you have the same values right so this way you have calculated your operating profit using the tax i hope that was helpful now there is an alternative way to calculate the operating profit and we should also know about that as well because you know we should know all the basic possibilities because we will need to calculate many different values and not everything will be possible every time so we are going to calculate operating profit one more time using a different approach index and let's do that in the next lecture